Red meat is known by millions of people all around the world as a very inflammatory food. If you eat red meat, it will cause inflammation in your body. Now, we're gonna talk about that in this video. And there is a subset of people for whom red meat, even talking about it, is very, very inflammatory. So we're gonna look at the science behind this claim and look at some of the mainstream opinions about is eating red meat inflammatory or not. Talk about some actual meaningful research. And then at the end of this video, I'm gonna tell you the subset of people who really do experience inflammation when they think about or eat red meat. I'm Dr. Ken Berry, a family physician, and I try to bring you meaningful research to show you all the different parts and aspects of a proper human diet. And this video is gonna be part in that series. So first let's go through some popular media outlets and see what they say about red meat being inflammatory. So first we'll start with Consumer Reports, a very conservative bastion protecting consumers and their money who I, I have great respect for. But in their article about how to follow an anti-inflammatory diet, they list red meat as directly triggering inflammatory responses in the body. Next we have Harvard Health Publishing. <clears throat> that sounds important, doesn't it? They say that red meat causes inflammation. There's, they don't say it may or might or possibly, they just say, say it does. Next we have realsimple.com. They list red meat as the number four most inflammatory food evidently on the planet. Next we have women's health, not a bastion of scientific research, but still read by millions of women around the world. They list red meat as the third most inflammatory food that you can put into your mouth. And then we have goodrxhealth.com. They list red meat as number four, as the most inflammatory food on the planet. And then we have insider.com. Millions of people read this website every day. They list red meat as number two on the most inflammatory foods you can eat list. Then we have Cleveland Clinic. Now you would expect them to only publish things that are research backed. They list red meat as the third most inflammatory food that you can eat on the planet. Now, when you look up the research that Cleveland Clinic and others uh, use to support their position that red meat is very inflammatory, you'll find observational studies, you'll find pseudo-mechanistic studies, but you won't find any randomized control trials in humans. For some reason, they don't seem to favor that sort of research, even though it's the most powerful research on the planet for telling us, for revealing what's true and what's not true. And so when I went digging into the literature, I actually found a meta-analysis of randomized control trials in humans that once and for all will put to rest, is red meat and the eating of it inflammatory or not? So here's the study published by the American Society of Nutrition in their journal back in 2021. So let's be very clear about this. This is a meta-analysis of randomized control trials in humans. This is literally the strongest form of evidence we can possibly have with regards to nutrition. This is not an observational study. This is not a pseudo-mechanistic study. This is a meta-analysis of RCTs, okay? And let me read very clearly what they found in this meta-analysis of multiple randomized control trials in humans. They say total red meat consumption for up to 16 weeks, that's four months, that's pretty long, does not affect changes in biomarkers of glycemic con control or inflammation for adults. Now, that sound, that, they didn't really equivocate there, did they? they? That sounds pretty clear. And one of the main markers of inflammation they used is a C-reactive protein or a CRP. Now, between the time of you watching this video and 2021, when this published was studied, there has been no other meta-analysis of randomized controlled trials updating this. So at this point in time, as you're watching this video, this is the state of the art. This is the best study in humans about whether red meat causes inflammation or not. And it found unequivocally that it absolutely did not cause inflammation in human beings when they ate red meat. Now, let's talk about the population that evidently uh, do get very inflamed 
when they hear about or eat red meat. So it seems when you look at each of the websites that claimed that red meat is inflammatory, such as Cleveland Clinic and Harvard School of Public Health, they believe very strongly in a plant-based diet. They've got a preconceived notion that you should avoid red meat and that you should eat lots of plants. Um, some of them say you can eat some fish or some, or some poultry, but all of them say without a doubt you should minimize or eliminate red meat from your diet. So it seems, it turns out, that the only way that red meat causes inflammation is in the minds of, and the hearts of plant-based believers. It seems that in actual humans who are eating the meat, it doesn't cause any inflammation whatsoever. But if you believe in a plant-based diet and you hear about someone eating red meat, you're liable to get mentally inflamed. And so uh, any of you guys who enjoy red meat or who have been avoiding red meat because you really believed it was inflammatory, I put a link to this study down in the show notes so you can actually read it for yourself. Read the entire study. The full text is available at that link. And then the next time that your doctor or your dietitian or maybe even your mama says, oh, you should cut back on red meat, it's very inflammatory, you can hand them a copy of this study and tell them 